Curtis, family and friends, they were just too upset to talk about the tragic accident. But friends, they really wanted to let people know just how generous this couple was, not only with them, but to perfect strangers. Honestly, the news knocked me off my feet. It just knocked the wind out of me. Sharon Shearer is the owner of Transformation Salon in Bond Hill. She says when she started looking for a location to open a church, Nazi Shatawi, who owned the Summit Plaza strip mall in Roselawn, was the first to offer his support, even though they barely knew one another. The day we met him, we, uh, he gave us the keys before we even signed a lease because he was a Christian and he wanted to do this as his contribution to the kingdom of God. Shearer says as a new church, she has struggled to keep the doors open during her ministry to help the community. She says Nazi refused to let her give up on her mission to help others. He lowered the rent because he felt that what our church was doing and having uh, impact on the community in Roseline was important. Police say Corey Wilson was driving the wrong way on northbound I-75 and plowed his SUV into their car on I-75. Um Abi says he and Nazi were both from Jordan and had known each other for 20 years. He was a very good guy. You know, he was the best guy. We lose them. One of the victim's employees inside the Rose Lawn carryout says Nazi would feed people and share what he had with others. That was his heart, you know what I'm saying? It was it was just so big and humongous and sometimes that, you know, sometimes it, it, it wasn't really a comparison because that was just something he just did naturally. And the couple also own the Colerain Food Mart here on Colerain Avenue and customers and tenants. Some of them spoke to me tonight and they say he was really a good person and he's really going to be missed. Janelle Walton, WLWT News 5. All right.